In this video, I'm going to do two examples of implicit differentiation. I am assuming that you have already been taught how to do implicit differentiation and you're just needing to see some um, extra examples, some more practice with this, because maybe there's some things that you're unclear with. Um, so, first of all, with mine, I like to make sure that I am telling the person that's grading my paper that I'm going to take the derivative. So what I do with my students is, okay, here's my original equation, y to the third plus y squared minus 5y minus x squared equals negative 4. I tell my students, okay, we're going to take the derivative of both sides and we're actually going to show d dx. So d dx, because I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. So d dx of y to the third plus the y squared minus 5y minus the x squared. And then we want to do that of both sides. So then I'm also going to do d dx, take the derivative of the right hand side. All right. And I might note these equations are in implicit form. That's why it's implicit differentiation. I am taking the derivative with respect to x. All right. So then that's the part where, okay, so it's an implicit form. That means I've got um, some y's and x's all mixed up in my equation. All right. When my variables differ. When I'm taking the derivative with respect to x and I've got y's in here, I have to remember to include a chain rule. I have to include a y prime. Okay, And also, I might note in my videos, all right, I do use a y prime because I just think the prime notation for the derivative is um, a lot easier Okay, and less confusing because um, a lot of times I see notes and videos on YouTube and they've, they're using a dy over dx instead of the y prime. Um, it really doesn't make any difference, but t this to me just clutters up the equation. And since we've got so much going on in these equations, it makes more sense to use the y prime notation as far as I'm concerned with this. All right, so that's why I'm going to be using the y prime. All right, so I'm taking the derivative of y to the third with respect to x. So I'm going to go 3y squared, and then I'm going to remember my y prime, my chain. Okay, plus the derivative of y squared is going to be a 2y, and then put the chain in y prime. The derivative of 5y is just going to be a 5, and then I have to put the chain in. Each one of those had y's in them. I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. All right, now when I get to this term, okay, it's all x's. We're good there. I can take a regular derivative, so minus 2x equals, and then the derivative of a negative 4 there is going to be 0. Okay, now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look and find every one of my terms that include the y prime, and I'm going to keep those on the left-hand side. Every other term is going to go to the right-hand side, so in this one I only have one that's going to move over. When I cross the equal sign, it's going to become positive. So I'm going to have a 3y squared y prime plus 2y y prime minus 5y prime equals a positive 2x. Okay, ultimate goal in implicit differentiation is to solve for that y prime. All right, so I'm going to factor the y prime out. So y prime is going to leave me with a 3y squared plus a 2y minus 5 is equal to 2x. All right, I'm trying to solve for y prime, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by this polynomial, which will then give me a y prime equal to 2x all over 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. Okay, now as far as implicit differentiation goes, that's pretty straightforward. All right, I didn't have any product rules or, or anything along those lines that's going to make it complicated or anything. I mean, it was just straightforward, work it out, and I was using the y primes. Okay, now in the second example, we're going to beef it up a little bit. All right, start to talk about and think about what we've got going on in this problem before I even start it here. I've got a product going on right here. All right, I would probably group them together as a 3x squared times a y. So there's product rule. All right, and then the other thing to notice about this product rule is that in front of it is a minus sign. All right, which means that when I do product rule, I'm going to create two terms, an extra term in there, and I've got to remember that it is minus everything that I create inside here. So I kind of like to have my students put little parentheses around that to say, okay, I'm going to do the product rule inside here, and then I'm subtracting everything in there, which means I have to go through and change my signs. All right, now here on this one, I have a product rule again. I would probably group the 2y together and the y squared together. All right, now I'm not as overly concerned with this one because the the 
sign before it is a plus. I'm adding. So if I create more terms, I'm just still going to be adding those terms. So I don't necessarily have to box this off by any means. Now you could, if you wanted to, you know, clearly be able to see where you're going and where you got the stuff from your previous line. Okay, now let's uh, remember that we are taking the derivative. It's going to help you remember you're taking the derivative with respect to x if you write this on here. So d d x. All right, not that it has to be in a different color. I was just kind of pointing it out. Uh, d d x of x to the third minus. I'm going to go ahead and keep those brackets in there. 3x squared y plus. I'm going to go ahead and keep these. 2x y squared. Alright, and then the derivative ddx of my constant there of 12. Okay, so let's start in on this. Alright, I will probably color code this one. I'll probably put this product rule in blue and I'll probably go ahead and put this product rule in red. Okay, so taking the derivative with respect to x. This is an x term. I'm just going to do him like normal. So 3x squared. Alright, minus. Alright, now I'm going to do this product rule in blue so that it stands out a little bit. So my first, so 3x squared, times the derivative of the second one. y, derivative of y, needs to be just a 1, but then y prime because of the chain. All right, then plus the second, which is y, times the derivative of the first, which would give us a 6x. So all of that comes from that product right there. All right, now let's go ahead and do this one in red. Okay, so for the next one, I'm going to have the first, which is 2x, times the derivative of the second, and it's a y, so I will have a 2y y prime plus the second, which is a y squared, and then the derivative of that 2x there is just a 2. All right, so that is that product rule. And then equals 0 because the derivative of that 12 is going to be a constant. Okay, now on my next line and my next step here, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to um, clean things up, make sure that all coefficients are in front. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the signs right there so that I can drop some brackets. All right, and dropping these brackets I can do right away because that's um, not going to affect anything. So 3x squared. This is going to be a minus. I'm going to put this term together. Minus 3x squared y prime. All right, now I've got to distribute that negative. So this term is a minus. Minus, I'm going to pull the coefficient out in front. 6xy. All right, going here. Plus, I'm going to drop the brackets. All of this put together. I'm going to take that 2 times 2, and it's going to become a 4 out in front. So 4xy y prime. All right, and then there the 2 needs to be in front as well, so plus 2y squared. Okay, now at this point I'm going to go through. I'm going to look for all of my y prime terms. So I have a y prime term here and I have a y prime term here. I'm going to leave both of these on the left hand side, which means that my other three terms have to cross the equal sign, go on the other side. When I cross the equal sign, I want to make sure that I take the opposite sign of what I see. So I'm going to start with my left hand side, negative 3x squared y prime plus 4xy y prime equals. All right, now, um, how you move them over and in what order, not really important. If I move this one over and write it down first, it's going to be negative. That means I'm going to have a negative leading coefficient on that top polynomial, and I generally don't like that. All right, so I'm, this one's a minus, so if I move it over first, it will make it positive, and if I put it in front, then it's going to give me that leading positive coefficient there. So a 6xy, then I can do this one, minus 3x squared, and then minus a 2y squared. All right, personal preference on that, totally, okay? Um, in each of these terms now, I need to factor out my y primes. So y prime comes out, and I have a negative 3x squared plus a 4xy. Right-hand side doesn't change, because I was just working on the left. Okay, now, try and solve for y prime. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by this negative 3x squared plus 4xy. And again, that, that leading term right there is negative, and I don't necessarily want it to be negative. I want to clean up my answer a little bit, so I'm going to switch those two around when I write it on my, as my final answer. So y prime, this will be my numerator, 6xy minus 3x squared minus 2y squared. And then all over, I'm going to switch those terms around. 4xy minus a 3x squared. 
All right, so again, a kind of straightforward uh, implicit differentiation problem. However, you've got those two products in there, all right? And I would highly recommend, you know, boxing them off because if you don't pay attention, you will definitely drop a negative and it will be right there on this term because you didn't realize it was minus everything in that product rule. So that right there is the negative that usually gets dropped. All right, so definitely, um, thanks for watching. Um, and if you need to see more examples of implicit differentiation, you know, keep your eyes open because I'm going to be doing more and more of these examples. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.